In this video you will learn how to perform an acid-base titration. We will be using titration to determine the concentration of an unknown base using an acid of known concentration. For this titration we will be using 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid to determine the unknown concentration of a sodium hydroxide solution. The progression of the reaction will be determined using phenolphthalein, a pH indicator that is colorless in an acidic environment and pink in a basic environment. First set up the titration apparatus. Clamp the burette into a stand so that it is vertical with the stopcock at the bottom. Make certain the stopcock is in the closed position. It is closed when it is turned perpendicular to the burette. Using a funnel or pipette, fill the burette with the base of unknown concentration. In this case, we are using a sodium hydroxide solution. The final amounts can be added drop by drop using a pipette. Read and record the volume of sodium hydroxide in the burette by reading the bottom of the meniscus. Next, measure 10 milliliters of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid using a graduated cylinder. Pour the 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into a flask. Add two drops of phenolphthalein to the hydrochloric acid solution. Gently swirl the solution to mix. Place the flask directly under the burette. Then place a white background such as a piece of paper under the flask to help detect color changes in the solution. Slowly add the sodium hydroxide solution to the flask by turning the stopcock parallel to the burette. The hydrochloric acid solution should initially turn pink, which then disappears upon stirring or swirling. Continue to add the sodium hydroxide solution until the pink color takes longer to fade. Then add the sodium hydroxide solution in single drops, making sure that each drop is thoroughly mixed before adding the next. Continue to add sodium hydroxide one drop at a time until the hydrochloric acid solution stays pink, indicating that the acid has been neutralized. Read the volume of the sodium hydroxide on the burette and record this amount in your lab notebook. The entire titration should be repeated two more times and then calculate the mean or average volume of the sodium hydroxide solution required to neutralize the hydrochloric acid. So we're going to do the calculation titrations. The formula you're going to use is M1V1 equals M2V2. So in doing a titration, you're going to set up one side of the equation and solve for the other. So by doing parentheses and plugging in what you know. So what is known. So that's 0 0.01 molar HCl. We know that molar concentration and we know that we have 10 mils of it. And we know that we're used 6.6 .6 mils and we will solve for M1. So if we divide this side by 6.6 .6 mils, divide this by 6.6 .6 mils, so this would be M1 equals 0.1 molar 